Hey there, Stephen Pegg from Loves to Travel. Thanks for checking out our videos. Always appreciate when you watch our videos. Heading up to uh, Trader Joe's. Haven't been up here, what, in a cup of coffee anyway. I think it's been like, like February since we were up here. I think so, like around Valentine's Day. So it's been a while. So before we get into the video though, love for you to hit the subscribe button below. Also that bell notification button below. That'll get you notified when we put up future videos. Love for you to hit the like button too. That helps us out immensely. I know there's one thing you're gonna be looking for in here because you are watching uh, videos on baking and you came across a, 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 a channel that you really liked about uh, a mom that was baking with her kids, right? Right. And what was it, uh, gluten-free brownies from Trader Joe's? Right, so let's see if we can find those gluten-free brownies because I know one of our relatives is... Uh, is gluten-free. Right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna find that, but I, you might wanna check out the channel. Put the link below, honey, and uh, let other people check out this channel because it's, it's about baking with your kids and uh, it's kind of really cool. I was watching one of them last night and just uh, really enjoyed it. So put the link here and, and we'll uh, let everybody else take a look and maybe they can subscribe as well. But we want to go into Trader Joe's and uh, we want to check out uh, uh, some of the deals other than just the uh, gluten-free brownies. Well, I was needing apples because um, we're not heading up to Sam's Club this week. Sorry, guys. Um, we don't go to Sam's Club every weekend. No. Even though it seems like we do. <laughs> <laughs> so... Let's get parked. We'll head on into Trader Joe's and um, and do some shopping and see what they got inside today. So what? We are in the Indiana Trader Joe's. And I can get the reusable Indiana bag at Trader Joe's for just 99 cents. Here, honey. Oh, look at the flowers they got. Oh. They're delivered fresh daily. I had an interesting conversation um, with someone that I had dinner with. They used to run a flower shop uh -huh. and they did really well until the internet. And it's it's changed. It's changed. Yeah. A lot of things, hasn't it? Yeah. Oh. You've heard about the Kringles. Oh, they're back. Raspberry Ooh. Kringles. Eight forty nine at Trader Joe's. It's back. I love that. Um, I know they went up a slightly more than what it was last year. Was it six ninety nine last time? Six ninety nine last time. I Did you want to so. get a Kringle? I want to get a Kringle. You want to get a Kringle? I want to get a Kringle. You want to try a Kringle? I want to try a Kringle. Okay, try a Kringle. Always check the date. And this is raspberry. Are you good with raspberry, sweetie? I'm good with raspberry. They're fresh baked daily, though. Okay. Supposedly. Yeah. I want to get a Kringle. I've never had a Kringle. You've never had a Kringle? I've never had a Kringle, but I've heard so many good things about it. So can you put it in the comments, have you ever had a Kringle? I've had them, but you've never had them? I've never had a Kringle. That's amazing. What else do you want to get here, by the I way? You wanted, want to get some apples? Yeah, I want to get like a couple apples. I didn't need to get a lot of apples. Because I know the apples here went up in price significantly years ago, uh, like a, a few months ago. So I've not bought apples since then. Was, yeah, you've been getting them at Sam's Club lately. Right, but I didn't need that many this week. So, yeah, see, these are four forty nine for three pounds, and Sam's Club, that's the organic. Let's see if I can find. There's Fuji's for $0.79 cents right there. But do they have regular apples for less than that? What are these? These are pinata apples. Pinata. Oh, that's something uh, these different. These Fuji apples are $0.69. Cents. Is there any Fuji apples down here? No. Wow, sweet gala. Okay. Yeah, if you can just uh, grab a couple of apples. Here, I'll let you pick the ones because you're going to be eating them. Yeah, these are the ones I take in my lunchbox. Like I said, it's just something I've been wanting to take. Mm -hmm. Let's see. And of course, you can try to always pick the biggest one possible. And I have been eating like an apple a day, literally. And actually, I like that one. You I like that eat, one? I might eat that one. Oh, you can probably eat that one. So I think I'm just going to go do like, like three apples, honey. Or two. How about this one back here? Oh, that little one looks good too, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Three apples. All right. Here, you can have this back. Put this with my Kringle. Did you want to go take a look over here? Hang on. There's some things here that we can, we get at Trader Joe's that we can't get at Kroger or... Sam's the snow Club. peas that we got here last time were so good. Were they? Do they yeah. sell snow peas? They have them right here, two sixty nine. Wow, that's not bad. And they were so good. Okay. Come on, grab those. How do those look to you? 
Those look really good. They do look really good. And they, the, the, the last ones we got here are really, really good. Right. You, I, uh, you made Mongolian beef the other night. Right. By the way, which is so good. And that was the first time you've done it, so you didn't want to video it. Are you uh, tempted to now to do it again and do a video on it? Yes, I am, actually. That might be coming in the near future. Right. Um, my mushroom, mushrooms, please, sweetie. That one there? Yes, that's good. Okay. And I think our son also wanted edamame. They didn't have edamame last time we were here. Let's see if they have it or not. Do they have it over there? Yeah, they were out of edamame last time we were here. And we haven't been able to find it anywhere, to be honest with you. I know, it's just something really strange. But that's what Andy likes. He's the one who helps us with our cooking video and our channel. Mm -hmm. I do not see edamame. Okay, keep searching, honey. Yeah. Can I get my half moon cookies? Yes, you can. You've been bad, but you know, sometimes... We did a video on a comparison of half moon cookies between Entenmann's half moon cookies, these half moon cookies, and the ones we got at Publix. So which one did we like better? Was it the Publix one? I think it was the Publix ones that we liked the best, yeah. So. Ooh, sour cream glazed donuts. I have not seen those here. That's new. Never had sour cream baked donuts before. Honey chocolate mousse eggs. Mm. Lemon zest Madeline cookies. I think those have been here before. Mm -hmm. But you know what else I don't see here? The chocolate cake? No, there's no pie. Oh, the apple pie. You're right. It's gone. Oh. I'm surprised you're right, there is no apple pie. So we mentioned when we were starting this video about um, gluten-free brownies and a video that you'd watched. And by the way, you're gonna link the video again, baking with, uh, baking with your kids. And so we wanted to get it and try it. The, uh, was it Baker Joe's? Yeah, Baker, Baker Joseph's. Joseph's. Gluten-free chocolate chip brownie mix. Right, and you're from the sodium's not bad. Look at that, 90 calories are not bad. Mm -hmm. This is actually not bad. Sugars are okay, but this is really not bad at all, honey. Yeah. So let's try this. Um, I mean, I know that you're trying to change your diet and gluten-free may right. help you a little bit, uh -huh. but uh, you're going to link that video again. Uh, we're not going to do a baking video on this no. because there's one out there. Right. Yeah, one of the things that you have to do in Lent, uh, well, you don't have to, but um, fish on Fridays. And they have uh, fish here, plenty of fish in the end cap. Um, what is it? The breaded cod filet, just seven forty nine. They also have Argentina, Argentinian red shrimp for seven ninety nine, And then battered fish nuggets, five ninety nine for those. And of hey. course, you got to have French fries, right? Right, French fries. Or tater tots. Or yeah. Go with it. So there's dinner right there. I don't forget there is different sauces up there. What do they got? Do they got? Uh, I can't read that. What is it? Credit sauce. sauce. Uh huh. They have tartar sauce. They do have organic ketchup uh -huh. here, by the way. And this is magnificent sauce. Yeah. So the magnificent sauce is mustard, mayo, ketchup, and relish together. And the incredible sauce is. Somewhat like honey mustard, but with natural smokiness. Oh, wow. So a couple of different sauces you can try. Well, you can also do honey walnut shrimp too, honey. Six ninety nine dollars for that. Mm -hmm. And how many ounces is this one? This one is 12.75 ounces. They also have a tempura, a tempura cauliflower. Right. So oh. these are options you could have for... For Lent. For fish on Fridays. Yeah. Now I do have right next to that. They have kung pao chicken. We may try that. But that's not for. Fish I know on it's Fridays. not for Lent, but it's something that I might want to try. Yeah. Did you see the Gonzo dipping sauce? The Goya, 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 or pot stickers? Sauce. It's pot yeah. stickers. Oh, speaking of pot stickers, um, we do want you to take a look at our video that we just put up from Yak and Yeti, and Steve did have pot stickers. And I will tell you, the pot stickers were good, but they were rather pricey. Mm -hmm. I will say I do like Yak and Yeti at uh, Animal Kingdom at Disney World. Right. 
Uh, not as pricey as you think it would be for a Disney uh, a, a Disney restaurant, mm -hmm. but the pot stickers were a bit on the pricey side, but they were really, really good. But speaking of pot stickers, they have plenty of pot stickers here, which is always our favorite. The Goya pot stickers for three seventy nine. the chicken pot stickers. Mm -hmm. Do I need to get any? I think we have it, That's and I may I... redo a, a cooking video for pot stickers because we did a pot sticker taste test challenge a while back, mm -hmm. but someone did ask us how to do pot stickers, and you know we we'll may redo that in our new house. That might be a good idea. So look for a video on pot stickers coming up along with the Mongolian beef video. So here's a couple more things you might want to pick up for Lent uh, at Trader Joe's. Uh, premium salmon burgers. Mm -hmm. They have mahi-mahi burgers. Where's the mahi mahi? What right is? there, mahi Ooh, mahi. It's right in front of me. Oh my gosh! Do you know things like your glasses, like you left on top of your eyes? You didn't see the mahi mahi burgers. I did not. It's like you leave me your glasses on the top of your head, saying, "Where are my glasses?" <laughs> I've done that before. Trust me. Uh, they have uh, breaded cod fillet. I think we talked about that before. Yes, we did. Uh, tempura shrimp. I think we've talked about that. Fish nuggets. Battered fish nuggets. Uh huh. Coconut shrimp. Ooh. They have those here. They have battered halibut, and then of course breaded fish sticks. Um, one way to get your kids to eat fish on Fridays is fish sticks. They didn't have any of this last time we were here. They've got it back again, the mango sorbet. Mm -hmm. uh, four, uh, 449 rather. This is really good, um, the mango sorbet. So I think I'm going to pick some up for that. Is this something you can have? It is higher in carbs and sugar than anything else, but I could usually have like a, a little bit, not much. Like well, a, a, like a little bit, not yeah, what, much. What we do, if I make a bowl of mango sorbet, you'll have a couple, three bites. I don't have that much right now. Is there anything else here, though, that you might want to try? Um, maybe the Trader Joe's chocolate non-dairy frozen dessert. Because these actually should be not bad. Do you want to try that? With coconut milk. Let me see how it is. How much is that? That is three ninety nine. I don't know. This is like pricier than what I usually have. 22. Yeah, I've been doing the bars right now. The bars have been my go-to right now. Mm -hmm. What do they have down here? Anything that you might want? Oh, they have, um, oh, they put them in the frozen section too. So you can freeze Kringles, honey. Really? Mm -hmm. Yep. So I might freeze and, mine then. Yeah, please enjoy within or six days after buying the out. frosting. So. What I'll do is I'll take the Kringle that I'm buying, I'll cut it in half and freeze half of it. You think so? Yeah, I think that's probably the best way. Ooh, lemon bars. Mmm. Yum. You know, Andy likes mochi. They have a Trader Joe's mochi. Oh, they do? Yeah. Vanilla? But he no. still has plenty of mochi I left on. Um, These are like four nine four seventy nine. Right. And it was cheaper when we did it at Costco, I think. They also have it. strawberry mochi. I want to get uh, peanut butter pretzels. They're right here. Oh, they are? Yeah, they're right here. They have uh, two different kinds. They have the unsalted and the salted. I've always said pretzels without salt, uh, yeah. These but are so good. I, but I do eat pretzels without salt, honey. I know. It's really funny because those thick, thick pretzels that like... Um, oh, like you get it at uh, Auntie Anne's or right, something Right, I like asked that. them for mine without salt to remember that. And you can get them without salt. You just have to ask for it. Um, but uh, yeah, the, the, where there's the big jugs of the salted, the peanut butter pretzels at both Costco and Sam's. Mm -hmm. And I've tried all three of them. These are the best. I think they're a little bit more pricey, but maybe because I think, to be honest with you, two forty nine for this, and I think the ones at uh, Costco and Sam's are like what four ninety or five ninety. I don't be, remember. It, I think it may be going up, so yeah. we don't know yet. Rosemary crouton croissants. That's something different. Three ninety nine for those. Mm -hmm. I think that's something different. I think that may be a new product. I'm not sure. You see, we're not at Trader Joe's that often to know what's new and what's not. Yeah, so it's been like three months since we were here. No, you, it hasn't been three months. Did you? Yeah, yeah. It's pretty close to it. Your crackers aren't. Are those your crackers? No, my crackers are back there. Okay. You I have my crackers. What's this? Ooh. Ooh. We are in maple syrup season. You are. How much is that? It's four. It's all five bucks. Oh, okay. One of the cool things about here, we're not coffee snobs by any stretch of the imagination. As everybody knows, we buy Folgers at uh, Sam's or Costco when it's on sale. Uh, but they do have a, a coffee grinder here, so you can grind your own blend of coffee. Um, we have found the, uh, what is it, uh, the um, coffee at Disney. Mm -hmm. The uh, Joffrey's coffee mm -hmm. is really good. Um, 
But again, we're not coffee snobs, but if you like to grind your own coffee, you can do that here. We are coffee snobs, though. We are? Yes. Oh, okay. I didn't know we were coffee snobs. <laughs> we are. Well, I mean, there's certain brands of coffee that I like. It's like McDonald's coffee when you're traveling. That's some of the best coffee in the world. Oh, my gosh. When we first got to Florida and we was at 3 a.m. flight and oh. there was we didn't have any service on there. And we had the coffee. It was the best cup of McDonald's coffee I've ever had. Yeah, it was really, really good. Um, some of the other some of the other uh, fast food places don't have as good of coffee, but McDonald's coffee, excellent. So we're going to wrap things up here at Trader Joe's. Just a quick shopping trip in to pick up uh, a few things. And we do get here early in the morning when they first open up because it gets really crowded in here later on in the afternoon. So we like to come early in the morning when there's not a lot of people. Um, but one of the things that I did pick up when I was in there, I've never had one of these, a uh, Danish Kringle. And you were talking to the girl at the register as we were coming out. And she said it comes four times a year with four different flavors. Right. Uh, cream cheese is one of them. Mm -hmm. Pumpkin is the other one. Mm -hmm. This one is raspberry. And the other one was pecan. Okay. Pecan or pecan? Oh, stop. That was pecan. <laughs> you say tomato, I say tomato. Okay. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm going to try. I've never had a Kringle, so I'm going to try a Kringle and, and see, see if I like it or not. Um, I know that I wouldn't like the cream cheese. I doubt that I would like the pumpkin, and I'm not sure about the pecan. But the raspberry, I like raspberry. Um, I love red raspberry jelly, by the way, just so you know. Uh, picked up a couple other things that we wanted in here, but uh, just a quick shopping trip into, uh, into Trader Joe's because we haven't been here in a while. So thanks for watching. Do appreciate you checking it out. As always, if you've not hit that subscribe button below, love for you to do so. Also the bell notification button below because that'll notify you when we put up future videos. And there are more coming, by the way. Um, and also make sure you hit the like button too because that helps us out immensely. Thanks for watching. Have fun at Trader Joe's and have yourself a magical day.